We're going to draw the Lewis structure for CF4, or carbon tetrafluoride. Now you might remember there's a diagonal line down the periodic table here that separates metals from non-metals. Carbon and fluorine are both non-metals. That means this is going to be a molecular or covalent compound. The carbon and the fluorines are going to share electrons instead of it being a transfer from one to the other. So let's figure out how many electrons we're dealing with here. Carbon is in group 14. That means each carbon brings four electrons, valence electrons, I should say. And fluorine is in group 17. That means each fluorine brings seven valence electrons. But remember, there are four of them. So that's seven times four, 28 electrons from fluorine plus four from carbon. We're going to need 32 electrons total in our structure. Now, the way that I draw these is to put the central atom in the center and all of the other atoms surrounding it. Now, carbon in the middle, fluorines on each side. I connect the central atom to the outer atoms with a single bond for each because they have to be connected or there wouldn't be a molecule. That accounts for two, four, six, eight electrons so far. Now I need 32, so I'm going to fill the octets of the outer atoms until I get to 32 electrons, or I run out of space, or I run out of electrons. Two, four, six, eight, we said, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, that's the perfect fit, isn't it? Each of my fluorines now have eight electrons around them, and my carbon also has a full octet, and I used the exact number of electrons that I was given. If I had extra electrons left over after I filled the octets on the outer atoms here, I would have dumped them onto the central atom but that was not the case here, so I won't. This here is your complete Lewis structure for CF4. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.